the Brandenburg Fifth Concerto is a milestone in the flute repertoire. So this is something very close to my heart and Bach in general, because he really was the launch pad of the flute into Western classical music. And so when I was reading a little bit and preparing this, I realized that he finished these set of concertos and handed them to the Graf of Brandenburg in 1721 on the 24th of March. And then I thought, uh-oh, 2021 is around the corner. We have to go for the 300 years. So it was, it was time, pandemic and all, but I just I had to make it happen. So here we are. <laughs> It's the very first time that the transverse flute, as opposed to the block flute, was requested specifically in a concerto. When you add a different um, timbre, a different sound color uh, with the flute and the oboe, then you understand better the counterpoint. So that's uh, what I believe that we are bringing now with this version. So a more understandable counterpoint uh, in the flute parts. We have a lot of fun creating this sound together, this, this sound world, and we love this. And it's sort of a little wink to that period where actually the flautists and oboists were often the same instrumentalists. These fast movements, they are really bursting like, like fireworks. And for me to somehow bring them together, all of us to life, I, I get so enthusiastic about them. I, I've loved these concertos for years and, I, and I've played all six. Man merkt vor allem, wie gut er die Trompete eigentlich kennt. Es gibt keinen anderen einzigen Komponist, der in seiner Zeit die, die Trompete so liebvoll und so elegant behandelt hat. Das sind nicht immer nur Fanfaren, sondern er behandelt die Trompete wie eine Oboe, wie eine Flöte. Und das sieht man vor allem in diesem Konzert. I think everyone plays as they are as a human being. I think you can never get around that. And for me, this, um, you probably felt it being in the room and seeing us play, like everyone's full of sort of life and love. The most important thing is the vitality and the rhythmic life. And I think once you have that as a starting block, then the rest of it can be improvised in any way that you feel on the day. Das fünfte brandenburgische Konzert zu spielen, das ist immer große Freude. Also das ist wirklich für einen Cembalisten ist es natürlich auch das äh, Konzert oder das Cembalo Konzert äh, und es ist natürlich auch mit dieser Kadenz, die Bach sozusagen ausgeschrieben hat, das ist für uns ja ein Zeitzeugnis, wie er improvisiert hat, ja, sozusagen, dass er das auch festgeschrieben hat. Really it's not about playing music, it's like a human thing which comes through the music in the end. And also this yeah, this will to to express and live and, and, and also to give, like it's not about us as artists. We're the messenger, we're the vehicle through which the composer gets to live.